last night was our grad ball oh my god and our amazing grad ball committee that was created made our grad ball a, su a success it was amazing it was absolutely fantastic everyone was dressed up everyone looked beautiful everyone was having an amazing time everyone had a few drinks and they were dancing oh it was an amazing amazing night it was fantastic so yes this week so i had a really busy weekend before that oh my god i was knackered so um i had my bank shift on the saturday so i finished my placement on the friday blogged about it you saw that sunday but then saturday i had my bank shift and then after my bank shift I had to go to essex for a 30th birthday party after that i got back home on monday morning i left at seven o'clock in the morning because there was a lot of things that needed submitting at university which i did on the friday however one of the things i had uploaded wasn't the right form i got really confused which form to upload and it was one that i needed from a personal tutor so i emailed my personal tutor in a massive panic saying oh my god sos help me i've uploaded the wrong form i really need um our final meeting to come a little bit sooner um will you sign the form and all this and she's like yes get to me now so okay I left at six at 7 a.m. I got to my personal tutor at half past 10. I sat, we had our final meeting, final interview. She signed me off from everything. And then I think I had nine minutes to spare. No, it wasn't half past 10, sorry, ignore that. It was half past 11. <laughs> half past 11, I saw my personal tutor. And by the time we had our meeting and I uploaded the form and submitted it with nine minutes to spare, I've never panicked so much and that is not like me. I do not do things like that. So this was a final thing for me, but it was uploaded, it's done, thank God. But then we had to go to Wolverhampton for 12 o'clock. So this was nine minutes to spare. I've got nine minutes to get to Wolverhampton from Birmingham. Anyone that knows anything about these places knows you cannot get to Wolverhampton in nine minutes. So yes, we got there at half past 10, um, half past 12, I think, just before half past 12 because we had a photo shoot, because if you don't know already, I am part of an amazing thing called Project Give, which tackles period poverty in school children. And we are doing a massive Christmas fair next month in December, 7th of December at the Lighthouse, at the Lighthouse Cinema in Wolverhampton. If you wanna come, look at the Facebook details, just follow Project Give Wolverhampton on Facebook. Details are all on there. Come if you're in the area, it'll be amazing. I'm gonna be Elsa for the day, giving out presents to children. But anyway, on the Monday, we had to be in Wolverhampton at the Lighthouse Cinema to have photos and stuff for the Express and Star to sort of promote it and promote the fair and everything. So we oh, we just made it in time, kind of. No, we were late. It was half past 12, we were 30 minutes late, but we made it and he didn't leave. The photographer didn't leave, that was the main thing. We got ready, got dressed, had the photo. I'm gonna put the photo here just in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, I did put it on my Instagram, but if you haven't seen it, it's here, ready for you. And if you're about and you want to come, please come to the fair. It's going to be amazing. There's going to be food, there's going to be drinks, there's going to be live performances, music, dancing. There's going to be loads of stalls with loads of loads of Christmas stuff going on. It's going to be great. Last year, it was a massive success. And um, I forgot what I was saying. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, so it was a busy weekend anyway. And then after that, we had to go. I had to come home, get changed and go to grad ball. I had a power nap for about 40 minutes because i was absolutely exhausted got to the ball had a massive headache i was exhausted so i only actually stayed until half past 11 which i'm gutted about but i just i was exhausted guys i needed my sleep so i literally got home got into bed and went to sleep i know um, and that was my day but anyway everyone was having an amazing time it's really nice to see all the photos and stuff on facebook of everybody having an amazing time afterwards as well when they went out so yeah so this week now uh, we've got our final thing at university on thursday we have our newly qualified day which they've also roped in a couple of hours of um practice supervisor training so we will be practice supervisors when we qualify yay um and that's going to be the final bit for us and then that's it for this week literally i'm working friday and that's it that'll be my week over then i'm just gonna wait for my pin so i'll see you all thursday for new qualified day
qualified nose day. Yay. So this is our last session at uni. I'm here with Pooja, who is always in my videos. <laughs> this is probably the last video I'm gonna be on your. Oh, you know, it might be. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Maybe. But you're gonna move down to yes my it's side, good. so we might see each other. Might do. Yes. So we thought we would leave you with um, top tips for surviving third year or uni all together. All together. <laughs> all together. There yeah. you go. On then, PJ. So my top tips for placement is take care of yourself guys it, it's quite intense mm -hmm. like you have to take care of yourself to take care of others so you first you are the first person you have to take care of yourself oh, what am I saying? that's a good tip <laughs> yes take um, care of you second tip for placement is cook something really nice mm -hmm. like cook something really nice really yummy so you look forward for it yeah that's my second tip that's a good tip, tip and drink a lot of water yes stay hydrated that's good tips um my tip for placements would be ask lots of questions it's your chance to learn um if you don't know something make sure you say don't just wing it <laughs> don't just guess it <laughs> don't just guess it because patient safety <laughs> um and then tips for university life is just get involved in everything keep yourself motivated and stay organized it's my biggest tip for uni life um what else what about your best moment which been your best moment over the three years oh, this is sad hard. the last day of placement management placement oh. i cried my mentor cried we hugged each other and yeah oh. it was quite sad very so sad the placements are always hell at the end, yeah. I think, because you have to leave your team that you've mm -hmm. just bonded with. Mm -hmm. um, most memorable, I would say my last day of placement as well was mm -hmm. amazing. We had a big party. <gasps> Me and the other student brought in loads of food. It was a massive feast and it was really, really nice. A really good end to, I think, the three years. Ooh. What about your worst? What has been your worst moment? <laughs> worst? Um, I think when I had to cry. When did you cry? Well, management placement. When you, you know, when you have to say bye to everyone. Oh yeah. When so you, your best day is also your worst day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're just making, you're Combined. just making new friends, and you just have to say yeah, bye. That's true. Yeah. So that was the worst day ever. Yeah. And plus, because I'm not from Birmingham, so oh, yeah. I'm not gonna see them ever that's again. True. So yeah. Yeah. Are you going back to London now? Yeah. Yes. We're just going back to London. So if anyone's in London, give her a wave. <laughs> Um, for me, my worst moment was my very first placement. I hated it. I really hated it. I almost no. quit nursing um, <laughs> because I just hated it that much and I thought, I'm not going to be a nurse. Like, all these people are horrible. I hate it. Luckily, I didn't. And I reminded myself, it's only for eight weeks. Keep mm. going, Claire. Keep doing this. And yeah, we're here today. <laughs> Whenever you think it's your worst day at placement, just think about good things, like mm. good things and good days and just move forward, guys. Yeah. It's only three years. It just yeah. it flies it, by. It does fly Trust by. Me. So just keep going, Trust get me. your head down, mm -hmm. keep positive and turn all the negatives into positive. Yeah. And that's the best advice we can give. Yay. Anything else you want to say? No. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. If I can do, do it. If, if we can do we it. We can do it, actually. <laughs> you can we definitely can do, do it. it. You can definitely do it. Yes. 100% you got this. Stay positive and eat a lot. <laughs> eat lots. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys!